are again. This is Mike Lodge, and I am the business advisor. I tell you, I woke up this morning and I I turned on the news and then I turned it back off. <laughs> I turned on Twitter and then I turned it back off. I I tell you, when you are bombarded by politics and bombarded by abortion and bombarded by guns and bombarded by the economy, sometimes you just have to shut it off. And that's what I did because I, I thought, you know what, this is going to consume us as Americans over the next few months until November. And we are going to see more and more violence. We are going to see more and more discord. We are going to see more and more lies from politicians. And I tell you, it has to come down to you and I making the right decision for ourselves and staying steadfast to how we believe. It's up to us. It's not up to the politicians. It's not up to Antifa. It's not up to any of these groups that are going to create mass violence. It's up to us to take care of our own situations. I really believe that over the next few months, we should probably stay out of areas like downtown sections of town. Downtown sections of town. That that was a double wording there. Sorry about that. But you know what I mean. Stay out of downtown. Stay out of communities where there's going to be heavy violence. And it's going to go on. It's not going to stop. Last night with the abortion riots and everything, or, or demonstrations I should say, that you can see that Antifa is there already. They're there to start a, to start tension. To start a fight, to to do whatever they can to start up a riot of some kind, and they're there to antagonize everybody that's in the crowd because they want to see people hurt. They want to see people suffering. Their mission is nothing to do with democracy. Has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Has nothing to do with abortion. It's there to create a problem. And that's what we are going to see over the next few months. We're going to see more problem, another problem, another problem. The sorry thing about this whole thing is that we never see politicians stand up and say, okay, enough of this. We have got to have law and order. You never see the president say it. You never see the Democrats say it. You never, and sometimes you don't even see the Republicans saying it. They just let it happen because it's to their advantage, they feel. <clears throat> I think really the problem is is that we Americans, we sit back in our armchairs, we're on watching it on our cell phone, we watch the news, and we see all of this violence happening, and no one, no one in authority is saying anything to calm people down. And you see politicians enhancing the problem. You saw Maxine Waters out yesterday telling them, "Go out on the streets and fight." That's what she said. Go out on the streets and fight. You see AOC in the crowd riling them up. And these individuals are not held accountable for the words that they say that incite people to do violence against fellow Americans. So as we sit back and we see this, we, we or at least I'm saying to myself, I don't want any part of this. I believe in a different America. And I think you do too. We all believe in a different America where we come together and we debate the issues. Now, on this abortion thing, the laws can be changed, but it's down at the state level now, not at the federal level. You keep hearing these 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 politicians say, oh, we're going to change it, in, in, and the, the president says, you need to change it in Congress. No, they can't. Because then it would not be constitutional, and it would be right back into the into the Supreme Court. But what the Supreme Court has said, give it back to the states and let the people decide what they want to do with abortion. Some states are going to decide differently. Other states will endorse abortion. It doesn't stop abortion from happening. You can go to another state and have it done. But the states are going to have to grapple with this and make their own decisions of what they want to do. And if you want to have a voice in this abortion process, 
then start working at the state level because that's where it's done. If you believe in abortion, you have the opportunity to work with your legislators. If you do not believe in abortion and are pro-life, you have the right to deal with your state legislators. It's equal on both sides. So stop the protesting, stop the violence, stop the damage, and start working together on whatever the issue may be and come to a conclusion that this law, or not this law, I strike that, but this process that went through the Supreme Court passed that decision of abortion law down to the states where it should have been in the first place. That's where it always has been until Roe v. Wade. Even the lady that was in that lawsuit, who was the plaintiff in that lawsuit, came out later and said, I was wrong. I should never have done that. So we have this issue that I'm really concerned about for small businesses. Now, a lot of you small businesses are going to be in communities where there's going to be violence. Prepare for that. Know that no politician is going to come to your rescue. But you do have a friend of the court. And that is that if Antifa or any of these groups come through your neighborhoods and try to burn you down, try to destroy and steal and loot and and do whatever else damage that they can do, you have the law on your side. You can sue these individuals. So I would say lawyer up and put them on notice. Put, Put politicians on notice. If you do not stop this, we will sue. We will take the legal recourse. You have the law on your side to protect you. And if you are being damaged, that damage can be done in court. Can be taken care of in court. But make sure that you understand that you can protect yourself. You can protect your business. You can. And if you can also go after those individuals who are recklessly devastating your communities. And you can even put together community organizations that say, stay out of our neighborhoods because we're not going to tolerate it. One piece of damage, all of the businesses will go against that individual or group. Put your businesses together. Create your own legal team to know that you can fight legally. If one business gets damaged by a rioter, the legal community and your community of small businesses come and you file a joint lawsuit against that individual. But you do not stand back and just take it like we've done in the past, where literally small businesses were completely destroyed by Antifa and Black Lives Matter and all those other groups. You have the ability you have the ability to protect yourself legally in the court system. Now, as Americans, listen, we have time to make our decisions. We have until November. And in the meantime, we're going to sit back and we're going to watch. We're going to listen. We're going to cut out what are lies. And we're going to cut out misleading individuals. Those individuals are going to be silenced in our minds. That just has to happen. And we have got to come to grips to our vote in November of how we're going to vote. And that's an individual decision, right? I can't tell you how to vote, and nor would I. And you can't tell me how to vote, and nor should you. But we as individuals can, individuals, we can sit down and we can look at the issues at hand. And we can decide which is the better road to take. Which is the better candidate to vote for. Which is the better candidate that's going to protect my rights? That's a decision we make. And then we also go to our churches and we, we should pray about this issue because a vote is a very important issue. 
And we're not voting to make a decision. We're voting for wisdom to know how to make a decision. And I think that should be our policy from now on that we kneel down every single day and we pray for wisdom to know what to do, to know how to live our lives, to know how to get through inflation and a recession and how to help our businesses survive and how to make our families stronger. That should be the focus of our life every single day is to pray for wisdom because we're going to need it. And we are going to have friends that are so so politically charged that they are going to be mean people, even to you. You may think they're your friend, but when it comes to politics, friendship changes. Pray for wisdom so you know how to direct your words and when to say things and when not to say things. It's a terrible thing when we start losing friends just because of politics. Politics is an evil. It is an unethical entity. And when businesses start to engulf wokeness and, and politics into their business, their business gets hurt greatly because politics creates conflict. And that's what happens even within our friendships. Politics create conflict within our friendships and within our family relationships. So we need to pray for wisdom as how we're going to deal with all of this. Because we don't want to lose friends. We don't want to lose family. We want to have an even mind, a a mind that says, I will be fair, but I'm going to make my own personal decision. I'm not going to force my decision, my, my beliefs, onto somebody else. This is my personal decision that I'm going to make on politics, on religion, on abortion, on education for your children. You make those personal decisions yourself. We have to stay away from what politicians say because right now they're trying to rile you up. They're trying to get you all in this discomfort zone so that you're scared. (laughs) And we don't have to be scared. We will always come to the aid of an American. We will always come to the aid of a friend. No matter what politics they have, no matter what religion they have, no matter how they believe, we will still come to the aid of that friend. And we will still show love to that friend. So get get done with all of this hate. Get done with all of this mischief. Get done with all of this violence because it's not working. But what's in your heart can work. What's in your mind can work. Just pray for that wisdom so that you are in constant communication with God that what you say and do affects other people. And we realize that. Listen, if you want to, I know that was kind of a downer of a, of a uh, podcast, but I had to say it. We have to, we have to get past this. This nonsense of violence and everything else and hate and trying to put other people down. If you want more access to me, go to www.lodge-co.com and you can read my blogs, you can listen to all my podcasts, you can listen, you can click on the link and it will take you to all my all my blogs. Everybody go out and have a great weekend. I love you. Let's go out, get your coffee, let's start the day because we have a new day to begin. And we're going to do some great things, you and I. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.